All right guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I just installed the new software update uh, on my Tesla Model Y here. And it was actually a recall. So it was version 2024.2.2.1. And uh, yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out all the things that have changed in the update because there is undocumented changes and some new improvements as well besides the recall. So yeah, let's go and hop inside and check it out. Alright guys, so pulling up the release notes here, as you guys can see, the only documented change in the uh, car's release notes is the over-the-air recall update. So what this basically changed was the uh, icons for the uh, vehicle here. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. So as you guys can see, the icons are now changed and um, you can definitely notice. So let's see here, if I turn on the headlights here, those icons have been changed a little. They're a little smaller now, I don't know why. Um, I think the old icons were bigger and then we also have the park icon which was which was uh, changed as well so if we hold here as you guys could see the parking brake icon is now changed it used to be an icon now it's just pure text and then we turn on the headlights again here as you guys could see it has changed um, others have changed as well here Let's see if I can get it again so if we start it up again, and yeah, if you guys caught that, mostly all of the icons have changed. I'm going to put up here on the screen all the new icons uh, versus the old ones. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the next undocumented change. Alrighty, and the next thing here is actually unrelated to the screen. It's actually re related to the battery and the preconditioning of the car. So whenever you're navigating to a supercharger, it does precondition the bat battery, obviously. And now it actually adjusts the power to each DC charging station. So depending on how powerful that DC charging station is, or that supercharger is, it'll, uh, I think, like adapt the preconditioning so it's not like preconditioning too much or too little if you guys know what I mean so therefore making preconditioning more efficient efficient yeah all right guys and the next undocumented change is in the trips menu so as you guys can see the trips menu here has been redesigned it's actually in a very better like way to read it so uh, it's more easier it's more laid out um, the reset buttons are now actually here and then obviously you could still rename the trips and everything and yeah, very, very nice. It's actually very more organized and looks way better now. And then the next thing here is you're going to be your apps menu. So as you guys can see, uh, previously the apps that were docked down here, that were pinned down here, do not pop up on here. But now all apps pop up on here, even if they're pinned on the bottom. I mean, it looks more cluttered now, but actually I don't mind it. Um, yeah, lots of apps. And then another thing that I noticed, well, actually the last thing uh, that I notice is going to be the glove box pin menu. So the font for the numbers are actually slightly different. Uh, I'm not sure if that's also for the pin to drive screen. So let me turn on pin to drive and then we can check that out. Yeah. So as you guys can see, pin to drive, they also changed the font. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for the 2024.2.2.1 uh, software update overview. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys did, Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.